How's it going guys, Dog here, and welcome back to everyone's favorite segment, Low Rated Duelist. Oh, he's gonna circle for Graceful Charity! Oh man, he wants to draw three cards. Drawing three cards is always good. Such a simple card, such a powerful card. It's not even technically a plus one, but you deck thin so much, and like any meta deck of decency can find a way to abuse it to make it a plus one or plus two. It's just, and there's no restrictions whatsoever. But yeah, we got King Mande here at 100 0, going up against Mike Meh at 100 0. Going to flip summon the Cyber Phoenix, normal summon the Flame Spirit Ignis. And uh, he's going to go for, if you to control two more phase of monster with the same attribute, special summon this card from your hand. So he's going to go for this, and then he's going to contact for the Blaze Phoenix. And yeah, those do get banished. <laughs> Everyone forgets that they get banished. Like, come on. Everyone forgets. So. I know this has some burn effect. Inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each card on the field. So, is he going to use the effect or is he just going to attack? We have no idea what that set monster could be. Could be anything. And what else does this do? He's able to summon it for free. While preparing a target, a face up card on the field, and the target's effects are negated. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the target's effects are negated. So we can, like, negate a face up card on the field. Like, negate a face up. Um. A monster. Or spell or trap. There's, like, a continuous or a field spell. We can negate that. And I guess that's decent, right? So I'm gonna use Blaze Phoenix. That's 300 for each card on the field. That's. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That's 1,800 points of damage. Oh, yeah. Did that mental math correctly. And now he's going to go into Battle Fees. The Elector Sovereign of Birds. This is its actual name. The Elector Sov Sovereign of Birds. Don't see this card every day. Good attack into that set monster. Let's find out what it is. Or will we see a Mirror Force? 1899? Really? How did he come up with 1899? Now, how much a pizza is? It like Papa John's, eighteen ninety nine for a pizza. Nah, that's probably a little too expensive, but whatever. He attacks into a Marsh M Marshma Karan. Destroy a battle. Special summon two other copies of this card from your hand deck or graveyard. Oh dang, that's clutch. Hand deck or graveyard, man. Hmm. So this is like an infinite loop, right? can only use the effect once per turn, but I mean, uh, once he attacks into it, he can still technically summon another copy from the grave, right? But King Mond is just going to end his turn here. One more turn re remaining on the Gold Sarko, so he will get the Graceful Charity on the next turn. Now we get to see Beta! Oh no, not Beta, frick! I messed it up! I'm getting all these Magnet Warriors mixed up! Alpha, the Magnet Warrior! Normal summoned. Gonna attack it to the Marsh Macaron. And he's gonna use the effect, summon two more copies of it. That's a smart thing to do, to use the effect after the first one dies. And then the Blaze Phoenix will attack into another one. And yeah. He still has one left, which is good. So these freaking Marsh. Macarons are putting on work if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully you're not butchering that name. It's a pretty tight artwork. Looks like Jello. You guys like Jello? I like Jello. I used to like Jello, but I haven't had Jello in a very long time. Had it elementary school at lunch. The best thing. They served Jello. It was so tasty, man. So anyway. Don't really know what decks both these guys are playing. Hopefully he actually remembers he gets the Graceful Charity. As yes, this is a traditional game. Of course, usually the only good games are traditional games. Because if you find a low rated duelist and rated these days, like the pairing system on this website still messed up. For starters, there's not enough people on the website yet to find decent low rated rated games. And thing is um a lot of times if you do find someone he, the pairing system so messed up that you have someone like at 99 rating go up against someone at like 800 or a thousand rating so it's one guy playing some random deck and the other guy's playing like some t 
tier one and it's uh it's just gonna be a complete domination but uh, there was the graceful charity activated draw three cards he pitched the dark magician girl and some i wasn't really paying attention on the other card his magician's valkyria normal summon gonna attack into the alpha the magnet warrior and no magic cylinder interesting just gonna take the damage alpha will die and this will bring Mike down to 7,800. The first battle damage Mike has taken in this duel. So once per turn, you can keep on using this Blaze Phoenix effect. Surprised he didn't actually use it in the previous turn. But he can set and then continue to use the Blaze Phoenix. And keep on burning. If he's smart. Now the thing is, he might not be smart. Alright, so let's see. All you have to do is keep on using the Blaze Phoenix, you'll eventually win the duel. There you go! So, what is this now? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. That is 3,000 points of damage! Oh, yeah. I guess my mental math's a little faster than this guy's. It's both the times when I say how much damage they take, he like types it right after. Ooh, but here is a Magician's Defense Plane. While you control a spellcaster type monster, any damage you take is halved. <laughs> wow. What are the odds? So I'll take 1500. As this is a spellcaster and this is a fairy, but you still technically control spellcaster, so that's a, a legal play. Mike opts not to attack. He could have attacked Elector into the Magician's Valkyria, but you gotta be afraid of that mirror force, you know? Now uh, let's see what King is gonna do here. I'm gonna normal summon the Chocolate Magician Girl. Chocolate! Chocolate! <laughs> yep, it's not a video without a SpongeBob reference. You guys remember that episode of SpongeBob where like the one guy kept on screaming chocolate. He's gonna normal summon and then he's gonna MST. Oh, he's gonna MST his own car, so that does something when it dies, right? Doesn't that get to special summon like a free like I guess spellcaster, right? So he can bring back his Paladium Oracle Mahad. <laughs> Interesting name. I'm gonna attack right into the Elector, and well, the problem is he still can't technically deal with this Blaze Phoenix. That is the problem. Now, if you're playing some rank four exceeds, you can main phase two exceed into a 101. Eat that up or Castell. But no, of course you don't play that. Or you could have made uh, Utopia the Lightning. The list goes on and on, but of course everyone never plays Exceeds on low rated duelist, of course. You get to see a tribute summon for the the Sithonian Emperor Dragon. And um hmm. He tributed the Beasting of the Swamps. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> but when this dies, you can special summon Dark Magician, right? This card just drove a battle card effect, special summon Dark Magician from the deck or graveyard. That is not too shabby, if I do say so myself. That's actually pretty good. And then Chocolate Magician Girl can bring this back for free, because, I mean, why not? Maybe he shouldn't have targeted this for an attack, you know? <laughs> but uh, you can't question that MLG logic. <laughs> Destroyed? Dang! What the frick? Wait, what's going on? Wait, how did that, how did that die? Target a spellcaster and graveyard and special summon it, change the attack, target to it. And if you do Oh dang, that's actually uh that's pretty dang good. Holy smokes. So he was able to change the attack target to this. And now he's gonna tribute three of his own monsters for the wing dragon of raw spear mode. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the freaking wing dragon of raw spear mode. <laughs> Really? And he's just gonna quit. Wow. I'm gonna. You know, Wing Dragon are all too powerful, confirmed, guys. 
<laughs> yeah, these are some interesting cards. So thanks for watching the first game. Could pause the video, get another duel in. Okay, guys, we're back with another game here. Gonna be stalking Mike, my main man Mike. He rage quit, but doesn't mean he's a bad player. Everyone rage quits every once in a while, you know. Slifer here. And 100 zero as well. Gonna normal some of that yellow gadget to add a green gadget to his hand. And both these guys have a 60 card deck. Mike has two in his extra deck. Slifer on the other hand has nine in his, in his extra deck. The battle of the 60 card decks. And I highly doubt any of these guys are playing grass. But even if they are, it's gonna be useless anyway. Because you're not gonna be able to mill anything. Ooh, what the frick is this? There is Lek Unga normal summon. Ooh, and that gets met with a bottomless trap hole. You can banish two water monsters from a graveyard special sum. Ah, banished, lol! Brody, banished! Ah, okay, apparently bottomless doesn't banish! <laughs> oh my god! And he's gonna negate attack the attack, what? Oh my god! <laughs> apparently, bottomless doesn't banish! And apparently, my chat is bold. Finally, LRDs found this website. Well, they, they have like a month ago, right? We've had some decent LRDs so far. Pretty big waste of a negate attack. Oh, unless he wants to tribute summon, which he is gonna do for the Cyber Tech Alligator. <laughs> there it is, the Cybertech Alligator. Ooh, and here is Wallow Revealing Light played upon that attack declaration. Gonna pay 3,000 life points, and now Monster Reporting Controls cannot attack. Their attack is less than or equal to the amount paid. So, in order to attack, you gotta um, summon something with 3,100 attack. Here is a Dark Doraldo normal summon. Choose four monsters from your deck, one earth, fire, water, place them on deck in any order. Not the first time we actually seen this in LRD, so... Wait, that said wind? I don't think that said... Oh yeah, it did, never mind. Earth, water, fire, wind. Earth, water, fire, wind. Remember that. So there was the wind, now he needs uh, earth, water, and fire. Not every day we see the powerful Cybertech alligator, man. Like, doesn't Summon Skull have more attack? Alright, no, someone skills 25, right? <laughs> Brain fart. Brain fart. This has more defense, so I guess, yeah, Cybertech Alligator. Gonna put in the work. So, Mike has taken a very long time to think. I swear to God, if he just adds him to his hand and doesn't put him on top of his deck, oh, I'm gonna face palm so hard. He's not gonna reveal him, he's just gonna put four random cards on top of his deck. You already know he is, he's not gonna reveal him. Yup! How do I know? How do I freaking know? How am I know that the cards you're putting back on top of the deck are the right ones? Really? This could be any old four random cards. But hey, who cares? <laughs> uh man. Of course, it does not have any exceeds. Perfect opportunity to exceed into like a castell or something. But, hey... This only goes for your opponents. I mean, you can make like Utopia the Lightning or Castell attack over that alligator, but nope. Too pro for an extra deck. Everyone's just too pro for an extra deck. Negate attack is meta 2k17. <laughs> I know, right? Why is everyone too pro to put exceeds in the extra deck, man? Like, come on, it's not that hard to put exceeds in the extra deck. It's really not that hard. Trust me, man. Okay, here's a tribute summon. I'm gonna tribute the monster attached to the call of the haunted to normal summon. Ah, oh, this guy again. Right? He summoned this in the previous duel. I believe he did. Synthonian Emperor Dragon. So you'll be able to attack twice during the same battle phase. I mean, if he, I guess if he really wants to, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what 
Slifer is going to do here with six cards to work with. At least he actually knew that the Call of the Haunted... Actually, the Call of the Haunted doesn't die, right? Oh my god, when the card is just... Oh uh, no, Call of the Haunted actually doesn't die. <laughs> my bad, no, Call of the Haunted actually doesn't die. It was tributed, it was not destroyed. So, this stays, but I don't think that's going to matter. I mean, it's only going to matter if he sets like four cards face down. This is probably going to be a very long duel. The first duel was like ten minutes, hopefully... I won't have to cut it out, but you never know what's going to happen. There's Flame Ruler, Normal Summon, then he gets Special Summon. The Elector once again. Wait, if your opponent controls two or more face-up monsters with the same attribute. Wait, I read this wrong! Chet! Chet! <laughs> XD. Where's the Coca-Cola? Cheat counter too. Yeah. Actually... Three. Call doesn't die. The cheat counter is already at three, by the way. Because he cheated with the bottomless and the call the haunted doesn't die. <laughs> so, yeah, you cannot summon this. I thought this said. Ah! It sucks having such a terrible reading level, man. I hate being such a terrible reader. If your opponent controls two or more face up monsters of the same attribute, this has to be your opponent, not you. For starters, he doesn't control two face-up monsters. And two, like we don't know what that, yeah, that's basically it. And that's probably not even a win monster set, assuming that was face-up, probably not, probably not a win. But yeah. <laughs> so Mike just gonna keep on setting cards, this wall of revealing light is really putting in the work. As he is too scared to attack that set monster apparently he really doesn't want to attack that set monster as Mike can still attack Slifer cannot till he gets an MST but he's playing a 60 card deck so the odds of him getting an MST are extremely low again if he was actually playing you know some actual exceeds this duel could be picking up the pace a whole lot I mean it's already a 17 minute video and I really hope this doesn't get too long where I actually have to cut out the first duel but that might happen that's had to happen before and at the rate this duel is going I guess that could happen again but yeah Malefic D oh god rip my mic <laughs> Malefic D wants to know where the coca-cola is at <laughs> oh my god I don't drink soda man Random fact about me, I don't drink soda. I haven't had a soda since 2013. I just don't like it. Unhealthy, unneeded, too sugary for my liking. I'd rather go with like Powerade. Like a sports drink. Or something. Or water. Water or sports drinks, just fine. I also don't like tea or coffee. Tea is just disgusting, and coffee is like, what? <laughs> Something about that face down card just doesn't want me to make any optimal plays. I'll just end my turn. <laughs> That's the LRD style. What Blackwing Gravekeeper said, that is exactly the LRD style. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, big shout out to these guys for being here, Blackwing Gravekeeper and Malefic D. I know he's clearly trying to play around Mirror Force. I mean, it's so obvious, man. These guys just keep on draw passing, draw passing. So I think at this rate, we're actually going to have to cut out the first duel. So, yay. Because <laughs> that was 10 minutes long. But maybe someone can pick up the pace. Maybe. And some Sakuretsu armors. <laughs> yep, I know, right? I knew it. It wouldn't be a win. He's going to flip summon the Y Dragon Head. And now he's going to normal summon the Proto Cyber Dragon. And there's a Overload Fusion played. Oh, tight. He's going for it, guys. Banish. The first word says banish, yet he doesn't banish. <laughs> Oh my god. 
first word of the card says banish. <laughs> Yet he doesn't banish, and what the heck just happened? Alright, when this card is fusion summoned, send all other cards you control to the graveyard. The original attack defense of this card becomes... The number of fusion materials used times 800. Each turn is attack your opponent a number of times equals the number of fusions. Okay, so how many did he use? I wasn't paying attention. I think he used one, two... I don't know, he didn't banish! Banish, Brody! How am I supposed to... <laughs> I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> oh my freaking god. What the heck is this duel, man? Seriously. Duels like this exist. <laughs> Go neg to make a 3200 attacker. And he does it. Oh, so, so it was 3200 attack. Okay, Malefic D. He's helping us out. That's 3200. Or not. He kamikaze with Elector, so that isn't 32? Wait, what? <laughs> what the frick was the point of that? What? Well, this is going to go down in one of the worst plays of the year, probably. What was the point of going for that? You just... You destroyed your entire field for no reason. You went neg for no reason, just so you can... Tell your opponent you don't have anything. And this was only at 2400, so apparently he only banished uh, three, or he only fused with three, which should be banished, so now he's confusing me even more. He could have banished, like, what? The gadget that was in the grave? He had, like, two gadgets in the grave or something? I don't even know. Banishing so hard in 2K17. What a joke. And this should be game. So this would. Unless it's, like, a dark hole or regeki or something along the lines of that. Winning is too mainstream, Stewie. <laughs> you gotta lose, like all the cool kids. <laughs> true that. Yep, true that, Malefic D. You gotta lose, like all the cool kids. <laughs> That's Malefic D 2K17. You gotta lose, like all the cool kids do. <laughs> According to them, Pot of Desires means mill 10 cards, draw 2. <laughs> yep, yes indeed. <laughs> Oh my god. So, uh, we're officially sitting here. Slifer, you got, what, six cards in hand to work with. Don't really know what we're waiting for, so I guess we'll pause the video and wait for him to do a play. Alright, so he didn't end up doing anything. He just normal summoned this, and he was viewing his deck. I was waiting for him to search. I was like, okay, if you search, I'll unpause the video. We sat here forever, and he's just gonna rage quit in his deck. I don't know, maybe it was too hard to find. Maybe he had no targets. Maybe the internet died. I don't know, but <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Pretty messed up edition as well. Big thanks for these guys for being here. Of course, and um, that is all I got to say about this video. So thank you all for watching this episode of Low Rated Duelist as always. And until next time, Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.